Welcome back. We have Dr. Preeti Desai joining us on the show again on this Friday afternoon. Great to have you back on. Pleasure. Yes, we're talking about something very interesting today. It's some of the things we do in our daily lives that we don't realize are doing damage to our teeth. Exactly. There's a number of just daily habits that we um, don't think about when we want to cut a string off our clothing or just get that wine cork a little bit looser. Your teeth are not tools. Yes. Do not do that. And a patient just came in the other day who was stripping some wire and he just thought he'd take that little plastic sheathing off and he took off two teeth right away and he had a wedding to go to that He night. had two teeth that came out? Yes. <clears throat> fractured veneers and crowns. Yeah. So not a good idea. Use no. the tool for the right thing. That's right. So we have a list of different things that you may be doing in your everyday life that you think, oh, well, I'm sure this wouldn't hurt. Uh, the first one right off the top, eating dried fruit. Yes, obviously raisins, figs, apricots, very sticky, high sugar content. Mm. So your cavity rate goes up. Very simple. Okay, chewing pens and pencils, that, that's an obvious one to me. Obvious, but, but people, people... Nervous habit, right? You chew, I sometimes chew on my pens. We do it all the time, mm -hmm. so just awareness. Okay, drinking sugar-free fizzy drinks. Yes, and a lot of um, people who are working out and exercising, um, they're sipping as they're exercising, and even though it's sugar-free, the carbonation and the acid breaks down teeth. Okay. So high high performance athletes actually have um, a little bit of dehydration issues plus sugary drinks. They have high cavity rates. Okay, and that's another one that you mentioned is doing right. intense cardio. How does that affect your teeth? Um, Are you saying that we shouldn't work out at all then? Or? I would love to say that, oh. but no. Okay. <laughs> Just be uh, aware, for example, I have a lot of um, TRU athletic uh, students in my office and they are pumping a lot of iron and they clench down heavy mm. to the point where they have completely scrubbed away their teeth right now. They have so much force concentrating, weightlifting, goes to their mouth as well. Okay, good to know. Uh, being dehydrated, how does that, uh, what effect does that have? High cavity rate. Mm. Dry mouth, um, and if you have any uh, plaque buildup at all, your cavity rate will go super high. Okay, drinking citrus drinks makes sense. What about drinking fruit tea? Is it the same idea? Same idea. The pH is very acidic and again breaks down teeth. Okay, grinding your teeth. And some people do this in bed at night and don't know it unless their partner tells them or maybe they record themselves. But you know what? Grinding. A lot of people aren't aware of it. Well, it's it's a bit of a misnomer, and a lot of research is coming out that it's not stress-related. It is actually a human functional physiological action that, because we're focused on an activity during the day or not aware at night, mm -hmm. we are actually putting so much force from our muscles onto our teeth, mm -hmm. you can get fracture lines. Fracture lines. Okay. It's terrible. And then brushing too hard. That's a, a sort of a given as well. And I get called on this at my dentist. I know that sometimes I get a bit aggressive. And uh, teeth re tooth recession, right? You can yeah. have your gums recede rather. Yeah. And that is just a, a technique that you need to learn from your hygienist to how to learn mm -hmm. how to brush properly and softly. Okay. And the obvious answer is, oh, I'll use an electric toothbrush. And that's actually a real no-no because you can get wear facets and grid lines from an electric electric toothbrush because they are not designed for your mouth. They're designed for an average mouth. And see, that is something I find interesting because my dentist, uh, my dental hygienist not long ago told me you should be using an electric toothbrush. So I'm finding it interesting to hear mm -hmm. that maybe that's not a good idea. That's one of the main reasons why I do gingival gum grafting because the patient has scrubbed away their gums without being even aware of it. And when they recede, they do not come back. Is that right? It's very difficult to get it back. 100% perfect. Sure. We can do a lot of fancy stuff, but yeah. still. Your, be your own is your best. That's right. We have some pictures that mm -hmm. will sort of drive home the point. This looks like some gum recession. This is exactly from electric toothbrushing. You can see that one tooth in the middle is a little bit darker up top. She has scrubbed it away from an electric toothbrush. Okay, let's move on to the next. And this is um, also an electric toothbrush. And if you look very closely, you can see the little track marks on the tooth, the little grooves mm. that have been created. My girlfriend had some gum grafting done. She said mm -hmm. it is no walk in the park. Like it's not a comfortable You know experience. what, that's that's also a misnomer. Oh, yes, is it? It's Maybe certainly she went not. to a bad dentist. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's certainly not like going to the spa and having a facial, sure. but today's techniques are so much better. Okay. And this is somebody <clears throat> who is a weightlifter and he, you can see the jagged edge of his teeth. Mm. He has clenched down so hard from pumping iron that he's fractured it away. Unfortunately, and this is again a similar case of clenching at night, even though it looks the same, they have pressed down so hard at nighttime and they've fractured their teeth as well. 
Ah, and this is my most favorite. Mm -hmm. Young people have a lot of piercings today, and even though it's supposedly far away from the gums and the teeth, mm -hmm. that's not true. So how would this affect your teeth if it's parked in the mm -hmm. middle of your tongue? Your tongue moves everywhere, and when you're clenching at night or when you're eating during the day, your tongue will touch all your teeth. It's not stable. It's not a static thing. So and so you, it could absolutely do damage to your teeth. You can, damage, you can damage your teeth and brooks away the, tea, the gums as well. Okay, some good tips today. Yeah. Uh, I'm most surprised about the electric toothbrush part, so I'm not going to invest in one after all. Use a $2 toothbrush. It works great. Okay, Dr. Desai, <laughs> thank you for being here today. My pleasure. Great tips today uh, in regard to taking better care of your teeth. Uh, we only get one set after age 12-ish, so we've got to take care of them. Information's on the screen. We're back in two minutes with Jamie Garbett from the City of Kamloops. Stay with us.